Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tyler from TKD back with another Madden 20 Ultimate Team video and today we're going to be doing something a little different. So I was recording my gameplays but I wasn't like live comming them. I was like, you know, maybe we'll get a good gameplay. If not, I'll record like an actual one later. With that being said, I did get a good gameplay and let me tell you, it was a banger. So Saquon Barkley went off. My offense went off. I also got busted up for a while. Ended up being a super close game. I'm not going to tell you who won. I might have came out ahead. He might have came out ahead. I will tell you it came down to the wire. But before we get into that, uh, there's a couple questions that I noticed in the uh, the last video that I did. And I wanted to uh, I wanted to address those. So I'm going to go ahead and pop up the first one on the screen now from uh, Nico Davis. He asked me, what player from your team is the best all time? So I've got my team pulled up right now so we can look at it. Um, where did my controller go? Ah, there it is. Okay, so I've got Troy Aikman. I've got Steve Young. I've got Torrey Holt, Marvin Harrison. My whole offensive line is basically legends. You notice I left somebody out. Brian Dawkins, Pat Tillman, Champ Bailey. You know, I have all these guys who are like studs. Everybody knows their name. And it's hard for me to pick which one I think is the best. What I will tell you is the one that I think is like the biggest name and that everyone knows the most. So I have to kind of like put it at the top of the list of my team is Randy Moss. Like, everybody knows Randy Moss. Not everybody will know Kevin Maway, Larry Little, Bruce Matthews, Munoz, maybe even Torrey Holt, Marvin Harrison, I didn't really know. But I knew who Randy Moss was. Like, everybody knows who Randy Moss is. So I would have to say that Randy Moss is probably going to be, like, my best all-time slash, like, most known player on my team. So that's my answer to that question. Um, the next one I'm going to get into before we get into the game is... Um, Will McDowg, McDowg, you put a W in your name, dude, so to me, that's Dowg. So Will asked me, Will, you play with, uh, will you play squads with subs? The answer is yes, dude, honestly. Put in the comment section that you guys want to play, throw your gamer tag in there, uh, and uh, I'll add you, and when I add you, I'll, like, put in the message of adding you, like, yo, this is Tyler from TKD, uh, you trying to play squads sometime. I prefer to play 2v2 squads if possible. However, if there's like two of you that want to play with me, then it's like, okay, I'll make it work. I just find that 3v3 squads is like, it's buns, dude. It is so much harder. Like 2v2 squads, you can at least kind of know what's going on. 3v3 is just, 3v3 is honestly the worst thing in the game, let me tell you. Like it's so bad, like so bad. So that's my opinion on that. But yes, 100%, I will play squads with subs. Just leave in the comment section that you want to play and leave your gamer tag. With that being said, you guys see the team. I know the uh, the faces or like the front of the cards aren't coming up. I'm just going to highlight some of the people I think uh, did the most in the game. You're going to see a lot of Saquon Barkley. Receivers kind of spread it out a little bit. Troy Aikman did all right, but you're going to see a lot of Saquon. And then on defense, you're just going to see a lot of like Pat Tillman. You're going to see some Champ Bailey. Like the whole defense was balling out kind of they were making plays they were also not making plays it ended up being a really good game and i'm really excited to bring it to you so now that i'm done rambling and bambling let's get into the game and let me show you this absolute banger that i recorded all right guys we're back let's get into this gameplay i want to show you guys what this is about um i'm really excited i think this is going to be a good one i think you guys are really going to enjoy it uh if you see me kind of looking around like looking to my left this is where i put like my face cam and stuff so like first play get right into it Lobs it up deep. Is it going to hit me? No. Pat Tillman makes a play. Super excited, man. We get the ball, and, and I think everything's going to go well, you know, and it, it's looking good for us, and, and you know, we're just trying to, we're trying to ball out. Now, I'm not going to exactly pay, like, all my attention on the gameplay, because, like, I have some paper right here with some things on it that I want to talk about, so if you see me kind of looking around this, because I have other stuff going on, and uh, right here, lob it up, throw a pick. It, it was rough, man. It really was rough. I was in a bad spot. One thing I'm getting used to with Aikman is I can't scramble with Aikman, and I've got to just sit in the pocket and make plays. As you can see, I've only left the plays in there that are kind of uh, important, and you'll see that later on when I kind of cut down second and third downs because it was just like nothing happened. Right here, throws at the user, and we don't get there. So I'm going to be honest, yeah, it, it was rough. So right here, um, we got a little bit. I can kind of talk. First down, no, the game gives me a fourth down. So... I, uh, something I want to talk about is I want to do this thing where, 
how do I want to explain this? As we pick up the fourth down, big time. So you know how people make ebooks and uh, they put them on a website for people to buy, and then people just buy them, run them, and that's it. Like you don't actually have to think for the ebook; you just kind of run whatever they put in there. But I was thinking that I would like to get a group of you guys and uh, just make it like five, ten people. I wouldn't take a bunch at first, as we get nowhere with Saquon Barkley. It, it was rough in this game at first; like it, I wasn't really doing a whole lot for a while. But I want to get like a group of us, and we just like work together, like on the we'll hit lab games and stuff. And it's like, it's kind of like, like, uh, what is the, the people that do, uh, they're like pro players, like problems, website, like top Madden. It's like that, but we wouldn't have like a website or anything like that. It would just be us. So like we would come up with schemes ourselves and we would be the only ones running them. And I think it would be really beneficial because then everybody else in the game, like won't be able to just look up online. Whoa, what are these guys doing? How can we stop it? As you see me get R1 wide open with a nice dot right over the middle of the Tory Holt. Honestly, those over the middle routes were really doing well this game. I just didn't go to them enough And that's another thing I want to work into my game plan But so like I was saying like I want to start working with you guys And I think another thing that would be good with it is then I would get to like I would get to converse and like get to know you guys on a like closer level And I think that would be really cool like right now We do the questions for you guys to answer so you kind of have or for us to answer that you guys ask and that's cool and all, but I mean, that's still just the video. Like, I don't actually get to have a conversation with any of you. So I think it would be really cool if we were able to have, you know, conversation. And this conversation could be about anything, but also, like, the main purpose is, is we're all trying to get better at Madden together. And as you can see here, he is blowing up the run. I'm pretty sure I do it one more time. Like, I'm stubborn. I'm like, nah, this is going to work. I'm not going to let him stop me. And you guys are about to see, man, it just, uh... That Demarcus Lawrence is tearing up my, just tearing up my right guard. Just nowhere to go. So right here, take the field goal. Nah, we don't take field goals around here. We're going for it, and we're going to pick it up, man. I'm going to hit a nice dot right here. You're about to see this crispy route, dude. Take me a little bit to set it up because I got to make sure everything's right on the field, but we're here to pick up first downs. Throws the ball right here. Oh, wait. No, he doesn't. Gets sacked. Fourth down, turnover. He gets ball. It's rough, man. A lot of bad decisions made at the beginning of this game, but hey, we battle. We do not give up. So coming back to my idea, you know, I just want you guys to put in the comment section, would you be interested in this? It's like, uh, like we work together to play Madden. It would be a good opportunity for me to get to know you guys better and actually have real conversation with you. As this dude just jukity juke jukes everybody on my team out of their shoes. I mean, I was sitting there playing this game like, oh my gosh, dude, I cannot make a tackle. I'm trying to hit stick air, man. But yeah, like I said, drop in the comment section. Would you be interested, you know, on the weekends, we just hop in a party, like five to ten of us, just play some Madden together, come up with things that maybe you thought about in the game and you want to show other people. And we wouldn't make it into an ebook, so this way you don't have to worry about people being able to just, like, look it up online. You know, I, I want to make the game fun again. And, like, a another big reason I want to do this is because I don't, I don't want to run a hundred times a game. Like, as you're going to see in this video, like, I was trying to pass a good amount, and I was having some success. And I think the game is so much more fun when you can pass, especially because people in this game focus on the run, so they have run D. Everybody's got run D. This cover four I'm running, I'm running because he was doing it. I hate people that just spam this cover four. But he was doing it to me, so I had to do it back. And um, honestly, it was a really good game, and I really enjoyed it, but it's because like I got to pass and stuff. I didn't just tote the ball every single time. It's right here, he hits a wheel route to Barkley. And it just devastated me, man. I finally had him on fourth down, thought I got him, and he just completed one on me. Nice little carry right there. Doesn't get anything, though. Like, he, he jukes a guy out, all that for nothing. But, um, you know, that's kind of my idea. I think it would be really interesting. Um, another thing, too, is if you guys want to drop, like, your weekend league records down there, I don't, like, I'm only going to take so many people as I just get. That's that's busted coverage right there. Played hard flats, should have played clouds or, uh, or the purples, and I didn't. Right here, we come back on offense, and uh, again, like I said, triangle right over, over the middle. Torrey Holt, that route was money in this game, and I feel like I just didn't go to it enough. But like I was saying, leave your weekend league, because that'll kind of help me be like, okay. Like, I'm not trying to teach you guys things in the game, because I'm not that good. I'm trying to find people who, like, I can work with to get better, you know? And later on, I want to be able to expand it to where it's like, I'll post on the channel maybe like a week or two after we come up with stuff. As we go deep, nope, and we scramble with Aikman for the first down. 
I was so happy, dude. I was like, oh, this guy's got to be like, did I really just let that happen? But, you know, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I don't want to have people that are in there just trying to, to learn from everybody else but not really put forth because I'm not that good. I'm, I'm not your boy Savage. I can't tell you how to be good at the game. What I can do is I can show you things that I know and take things that you know and we can put them together together and we both become really good at the game. As another dot to Saquon Barkley, dude. Saquon Barkley was eating in this video. I think he had 100 yards with a touchdown right here. Probably a touchdown if he's not tired, but you know what? Puts us at third and one right here, right up the gut with Melvin Gordon. Stops him at the one. I thought he was in, but very next carry, Melvin Gordon punches it in from the one yard line. Hey, 14-7. We were down by 14. We get ball at half. All we got to do is play smart. Let's see if he can drive down the field in eight seconds. Who knows, man? He was killing me with that route on the left as we go for the pick, and we do not get it. But one more play to half. One more play to half. Let's see what he can do. Does he have it in him? That route on the left side, he's been killing me with. It's this weird post corner route thing. Comes in and goes back out. He's going to be running it here. He doesn't run it, and we get the sack to go into, into half. Or Yeah, going into the second half, I run the ball first play. Looks like I'm loose with Barkley loose, and he gets tackled, but it was a great spin. So now we're going to get into the next play, but I'm going to finish up with this other thing. You know, I kind of went over what I was thinking about. I want to do this to grow with you guys. You know, I want to get to know you guys. I want to be able to get better at the game with you guys, and I think this is just a better way for me to connect with you. Because right now, like, you guys are names on a screen, but I want to be, like, I want you guys to be, like, I, like, I've talked to this person. Like, I have heard your voice. Like, like I know your name, and, like, we've talked. And like I said, right now I want to keep it small, but then I want to expand it to more and more people can get involved. And then maybe at some point I, we can have, like, you know, this party will be doing one thing and then another party, and I won't be in all of them. And Kurt and Derek don't really know about this. Actually, they don't at all. I haven't talked to them. But they don't really play the game as much as I do. So, I mean, they might be involved. As Barkley puts him in a spin cycle. And Barkley's fighting for these first downs, man. Look at him. Takes another carry up the middle. Getting yards. Falling forward. Rumbling and tumbling Barkley. I love to see it. And he shoots the gap and stops Melvin Gordon. That was rough. That, that was a bad decision. Probably should have taken the field goal there. You got to take your points. Things happen. Right here, I was not in the right defense. Right here, I should have called a timeout. I knew I wasn't in the right defense. I was trying to adjust. Take your timeouts, guys. I know it's a, a loss of a timeout, but it's important if you can stop a touchdown. And right there, I could have stopped that touchdown. But here, we come back to the pass. Do we have anybody open? Right now, no one's open. Moves over to his left. Hits Travis Kelsey on the streak down the sideline. Beautiful completion to Travis Kelsey. Puts us at the 30, back into scoring range. Right here, we might have R1 screams absolutely screams but i saw he was in a cover three i saw he was in a cover three and i know what i can do against cover threes i can bomb cover threes and right here he comes out with his cover three leaving me the whole right side of the field unattended by that deep safety and i know i have the chance to get back in this game right here but i gotta deliver a dot so i send r1 on the street right here i see it deep do i have a beat boom r1 marvin harrison throw up the touchdown baby i don't know why i just did that with my mouth <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, goes deep. And one plays me on the tackle. That was Amos. I made some adjustments later in the game to prevent that, but that was uh, that was tough. That, that really killed us. But fourth down, we hit Saquon Barkley. I'm telling you, Barkley was a machine on fourth down in this game, picking him up every time we needed him. I, I love these routes to Barkley out of the backfield. As we have R1 wide open down the seam and Pat Tillman jumps it oh man and he's gonna take it all the way nope open field tackle with the offensive lineman i was so excited when i got that tackle because we at least have a chance now we come out here i'm not gonna let him have deep that is that is champ bailey no sir champ bailey's not letting it happen champ bailey gets free does champ bailey have it in him to take it all the way back to the crib he's in space he's loose he's scrambling down the sideline all he's got is one man to and he can't beat the quarterback. Very next play, handed off to Saquon Barkley. He's loose and gets tackled at the five. But, hey man, Saquon was eating. As you can see, 15 for 96. He does end up with one touchdown and 100 yards. So what do you guys think is about to happen right here? I think what we're about to see is a Saquon Barkley big man stiff arm puts it into his face, into his chest, into the end zone. So here... 
Fourth down. This is the game, man. This is the game. Do we win it? Does he get it? He's going to lob it up at my user. Am I not going to get there? He completes it. We've got him iced. What happens here? He does, in fact, bang the field goal and wins the game, guys. It was a tough loss, but a great game. Shout out to Outlaw. I hit him up after the game, told him GG, told him this would be on YouTube. He said he subbed, so hey, Outlaw, big thanks to you. Great game, man. I respect that. You didn't cheese me. I tried not to cheese you. I very much enjoyed that. These are, are the games I recently played. Outlaw just beat me, and then 20-7 to to Quicksilver. I, it, I mean, he, he ended up quitting in like the third quarter. But I, I just want to recap on what I was talking about, guys. If you would be interested in working with me on Madden, you know, trying to grow together, trying to get to know each other, I would be super interested in that, and hopefully you guys are too. Drop in the comment section if you'd be down. Um, hit me, hit us up on Twitter. If you want to be involved, just DM me on Twitter. Go to our TKD account. Any one of us can see it. I'll be monitoring it. Also, I do want to say one more thing as I check my, my documentation. Will McDowg. I'm going to say it just like that. So you said you had sent something on Twitter, and I do believe that we had it to where if we weren't following you, you could not DM us. I have switched that. Our DMs are now open. So if anybody wants to play squads with me, or if you want to get involved with this, um, we're going to call it a Madden Lab Group. That's what we're going to call it, Madden Lab Group. We're all going to get together. We're going to be Madden Lab community. That's what we do. We're going to be a community. I really want to expand with you guys to more than just these videos. Like, I want to get to know you on a personal level. Uh, on, on another thing that I want to talk about is I've been thinking about streaming. Um, they would not be consistent. They would be on the weekends. Some weekends I will be out of town. Some weekends I won't. If I'm not out of town, I'll try to stream on Friday or Saturday. Occasionally, maybe Thursday night if I have Friday off. But let me know what you guys think. Do you want to have streams? Another thing I was thinking is maybe those lab games, we could stream those. So the ones of you that aren't like actively involved with like actually coming up with the schemes and like working with us on developing, you'll still get to see everything because I'll stream my lab games against the other members of the lab group community, you know what I mean? And then you guys can talk in the chat, chat to each other, talk to me, I'll be responding. And because it won't be like a full on game, I can very much pay attention to the chat. Uh, I don't know a lot about streaming, however, I'm friends with a couple people that do stream, so I'll be able to figure it out super quick if you guys want to see it. And if you do want to see it, you'll probably have the first stream this coming weekend, guys. I, I, I want to do it, so just tell me you want to see it. A couple more things I want to talk about. One, hey, 1K. Thank you guys so much for 1K. It means the world to us. We are so happy. And we're almost at 1,100. When I was recording this, we were at 1.06 thousand. Guys, we're blowing up, and it's because you guys are killing the like buttons, you're killing the support, the comments. YouTube is putting us on the front page, and people are seeing it, and they're clicking it and liking what they're seeing. So we're going to keep bringing the fire content. You guys keep bringing the fire support, and let's grow together in more ways than one. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. Let me know if you enjoyed this postcom. Not every single one's going to be a postcom, but... I do enjoy doing this, so I'd like to mix these in along with the live comms. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Link will be in the description. Like I said, all these things I've talked about, hit us up on Twitter in the DMs, man. I'll be checking it frequently every single day. Uh, the DMs are open, so if we don't follow you, you can now message us. I think that might have been the issue before. Uh, one last time, thank you so much for 1K, guys. Road to 2K. We're already almost to 1,100. Uh, hey man, thank you guys for the support. It means the world to us. And that's that's the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, peace.